The golf swing has long been recommended to follow a plane of activity, and that plane of activity has long been described as a plate of glass. It's tilted, rather, as I described the wagon wheel in an earlier segment, and that plate of glass is a valuable impression, but only if we understand that the entire shaft has to be connected with it. It's insufficient that the club head, or for argument's sake, the hands, follow that plane of activity, the plate of glass, with one end or the other of the shaft not adhering to it. The best image is to think of a giant windshield of a car and have the club be the imagined windshield wiper blade. The shaft of the club sits on the plane of activity and cleans the entire windshield all the way up behind us down around through the ball and out the other side.